Two college football rivals are ready to collide for the final time. Once Big South foes, Liberty and Coastal Carolina will wrap up the regular season with a non-conference meeting on Thursday night. Even though Big South standings won't be affected, there's still plenty of heat in this rivalry. All you have to say is Coastal. So uh, I think when you say that, uh, our, our guys uh, get a little bit uh, uh, upbeat about things and, and, and ready to play, and, and uh, they know what's going on and what's happening in the past, what's happening in the future, and what can happen in the future as far as these ball games. It's very much a robbery, if you ask me. Like, I was there in 2014 when Chima blocked the kick. I was there last year when BJ scored that electric touchdown. Like, uh, it's very much still a robbery in my heart. I got friends that go down there. and. I went to school with like two of their cheerleaders. Some of the older guys who have been here, I mean, they know the tradition and know what it's at stake every time we play Coastal. I mean, even though they're leaving, you know, going to the Sun Belt, I mean, it's still a very important game for some of us to win. So, I mean, we got to go out there and always be Coastal. For a second straight year, Thursday's game will be televised nationally on ESPN News. Last year in Lynchburg, the Flames upset the fourth-ranked Shawnaclears 24-21 on a late touchdown catch by B.J. Farrow. Two years ago at Coastal, Liberty clinched its first FCS playoff berth with Chima Uzuwihe's field goal block in the final seconds. The Flames believe a win over 16th-ranked Coastal on Thursday would keep their hopes of an at-large playoff berth alive. Definitely, because Coastal is a very good football team, and they're known around the country, especially in the FCS and transition to the FBS. So. A win against them will be a quality win against a, a good football team. So I think this win will help us stay in the playoff picture. Normally, the team that wins out of these two uh, normally are doing something special. Uh, and, that, and that's just been the facts. And so, you know, this Thursday night is no different. We, we need a win to do something special. So I think that amps up the juice of playing Coastal. Thursday's game is also significant for Robert Wimberly. He'll be Liberty's acting head coach for the night. Coach Turner Gill was serving a one-game suspension due to a self-reported NCAA violation from within the coaching staff. Wimberly will still make the defensive calls, but he'll also have to handle fourth down decisions on offense and communication with special teams coordinator Scott Downing. Gill says the goal is to keep things the same as much as possible. We're not going to change anything that we've done in the past as far as um, routine-wise with our coaches and with our players. Uh, he's just going to have a, a few more duties as far as being able to handle the coaches as far as in our staff meeting on uh, Thursday morning that we go over kind of some a few little things uh, that we go over just to make sure we're all on the same track as far as uh, uh, preparation for the game. My ultimate goal is for us to win this game. Uh, and like I said, he selected me to lead the program for the day. Uh, I'm going to do that uh, to the 100% of my abilities. Uh, but we got great coaches. Uh, we've been together for a long time. Uh, we know each other. Uh, we know what to expect. The Flames will face a coastal team decimated by injuries. The Shawnaclears have used seven different quarterbacks this season, including Tyler Chadwick from the Shawnaclear baseball team. Starting tailback D'Angelo Henderson returned from an injury in last week's win over Bryant to rush for 98 yards and two touchdowns. The Shawnaclears have relied heavily on their run game. Definitely run a lot of Wildcat. Watching tape on those guys, like I've seen whole series Wildcat. Like just third and eight wildcat rushes. So, I mean, with their quarterback situation the way it is, they don't know who's going to be the guy. They've had a hard time, you know, finding a guy that will take over the offense, that will take control of it, and they've been alternating guys in and out and in and out. And I feel like that's more of an advantage to us as a defense because if we can get a guy, any guy in the backfield as a quarterback flustered, you know, at the quarterback position, ultimately you can help you helped the offense fall apart. While a win on Thursday over the Shawnaclears would strengthen the Flames' playoff hopes in terms of an at-large in the eyes of the FCS selection committee, the Liberty's playoff hopes largely rest on what happened Saturday in North Charleston, South Carolina. Liberty needs Kennesaw State to knock off Charleston Southern. That would give Liberty and Kennesaw State a share of the Big South Championship, and the Flames would then get the automatic bid to the FCS playoffs via their win earlier this year over the Owls. Thursday's meeting with Coastal Carolina will be the 14th all-time between the Flames and Shauna Clears. Liberty's won the last two, and Liberty has a 7-6 edge in the all-time series. In Lynchburg, for the Liberty Flames Sports Network, I'm Nick Pierce.